Hey, welcome again and this is Nikhil, your marketing tipster. And in this session, we are going to understand how to create page visit based conversions in Google Analytics 4. If you have been using Universal Analytics for a long time, I am sure creating goals and measuring goals has been one of the most important activities in Google Analytics for you. But when you log in into new interface of Google Analytics 4, you must be wondering what happened to goals. Where did goals go? Especially page based conversion goals, you can't find them. All you can see is event based conversion goals and it's not very intuitive how to use them for page based conversions. If that has been haunting you, stick around. This video will give you answer to how to do that. Before we move forward, let's quickly look at what are goals and why are they important. Goals are essentially success metric for your website. They measure the success of your marketing campaign, your UI, UX, your offering and your entire website or app itself. Largely there are three types of goals. First is visit to key page. That is what we are going to understand in this video, how to create this type of goal in Google Analytics 4. Second is user engagement. This is important for content based websites or news websites where users spending more time on your app or site is considered as success. Third is event based where an event which may or may not be triggered by page view is success for your website or app which is login, purchase, sign up, download of an ebook etc. The third type of goal is very easy to configure in Google Analytics 4. It's just one click and you can configure that. And if you want to know how to do that, I'm going to place link of video on event based goals right here and you can check it out. And in this video, we are going to understand only first type of goal where you create a goal for visit of key page. Now let's jump on to analytics interface and understand how it was with universal analytics and what has changed. Here we go. This is a classical universal analytics interface. And if you wanted to create a goal, you'll just navigate to admin goals, then type your goal name, choose type as destination, destination as visit to the key page, click on continue. And here you can just define the page URI visit to which will be considered as a success for you. So for example, it can be contact page view, which can be slash contact. As simple as that. But when you compare this with Google Analytics 4, in admin, there is nothing called goals. Boom, gone. But it has been replaced by something called convergence here. But convergence can only be defined at event name level. Now in my case, I want to define success as someone visiting my contacts page. But event for that page is page underscore view, which is default page view event in Google Analytics 4. Now, if I just give page underscore view as conversion event, then what happens is every page view is counted as conversion as you can see here and it inflates my conversion rate as it shows here it's 50% which is amazing but that's not really the case. People visiting home page, people visiting category page or any of the blog pages, everyone is being considered as conversion here, which is not the case. While I only want to make sure that people visiting contact page are considered as conversions. Now, how do we do that? It's pretty simple actually. For that, you have to create a custom event. How do you create a custom event? If you ask anyone, they'll tell you that you have to code, you have to put an event code on your page, etc, etc, etc. But thankfully with Google Analytics 4, you don't have to do that. What you can do is you can create new custom events based on your currently coded events in the page. For example, what I have done here is I have created an event called contact underscore page underscore visited. So this event is triggered when someone visits my contact page. How do you do that? Basically, you just click on create event and then click on create again 
I don't know why there are two create buttons here. It sounds like a bad UI, but anyway, that's not my business anymore. Uh, so you can create and then you'll be presented with this interface to create event. Now, because I have already created this event, I'll just edit this and I'll show you the configuration for this event. Now I have create named this event as contact underscore page underscore visited. If you're in your case, this is something else. You can name it appropriately. For example, category underscore page underscore visited or thank you underscore page underscore visited or something like that. So this is the event that I want to create when someone visits my contact page. So based on the current event on which I want to create this event, that event is page underscore view. That's why if you see event name equals page underscore view and page location which is one of the parameters of page underscore view event equals to https colon slash slash measure measure dot com slash contact slash that is url of my contacts page so when these two conditions are matched it creates a new event called contact underscore page underscore visited now I have created this you all you can also create it create this for any of the page on your website now how do you test it out let's get to that once you have created this event you can navigate to conversions create a new conversion and just paste the newly created event which you have just created which in my case is contact underscore page underscore visited and save it here we go as you can see contact underscore page underscore visited as a conversion is active here. Now how do you make sure that this is working? Just navigate to real time, visit this page. And wait for a bit. Here we go. If you see this particular block convergence by event name, this will show that contact underscore page underscore visited event has one conversion, which is from this specific page view. Now let's go back to basics and understand difference between page visit convergence in GA4 versus universal analytics. In universal analytics, these were called goals. In GA4, they are called convergence. In Universal Analytics, you could have defined goals based on destination page URLs. In GA4, you can do that only based on events. But as I have shown you a cool hack to work around this and still make sure that you can define convergence at a specific URL level. So make a note of this hack. This is going to be the most important hack of Google Analytics 4 for now. Just to recap how to do that. First, create an event based on your current event. In this case, your current event is page view and the new event that I created is contact page visited. Second step is name the event with the page name that you want to target. So in my case, it was contact page. In your case, it can be anything else. Define the event based on two matching types or two matching conditions. First one is event is equal to page view and page location is URI or URL of the page which you want to be your goal. Fourth step is create a conversion based on the newly created event which you just created with two matching conditions above. Fifth is visit that page and then check your Google Analytics in debug mode or real time view and you are done. Hope you loved this tip. If you want more tips like this about marketing analytics, marketing or MarTech in general, please comment and I'll get on to it.